What's going on guys? I want to do a builder profile video for you today and talk about can the little luthier make it? And Ormsby Guitars out of Australia has definitely made it. I've known Perry for a number of years. We were on projectguitar.com over a decade ago. I was looking through some of the private messages that I had there and we were trading uh, stuff back and forth, posts, suggestions. He was right out of the gate, a pretty awesome builder, way ahead of my skill set and was doing some really awesome metal guitars. As I moved down to Nashville, I was following his rise up through the ranks. He definitely was making some awesome shredder guitars out of his custom shop. And then he started doing some runs of guitars with a factory overseas. And as I was coming back to Chicago, I saw this shark guitar and I was just blown away by it. The detail and the styling of this is second to none and it deserves its own call out because as things continue to grow for him, I see bigger and better things coming. And so this is just a story about the little guy and persistence and hard work and how he got to where he is today. Like I said, he started off as a carpenter, a builder, you know, on the side and wanted to build guitars, wanted to build guitars and he kept going and going. At one point we tried to get him some Corinna from the States down to him. We couldn't figure out how to do it uh, via FedEx without it costing couple hundred bucks for some body blanks that was the first run of Corinna that I had bought he wanted in on it and we couldn't make that work overseas to Australia and as you sort of followed him progress the skills got better the builds got increasingly awesome and he went off on his own full time he had a YouTube channel at one point as well he's not posting there as much and for obvious reasons he's got artists playing his gear. He is definitely the metal guitar. He's found his niche. He's running with it. And when I placed this order for this shark bloodbath, I joined his Facebook group. And it was amazing to see and watch the energy and the number of people participating in that forum as these guitars got launched. So this guitar, I think I bought in 2017, and it didn't make it to me to 2018. The sidey stuff got him caught up on some of the earlier runs, and the Rosewood issue kind of slowed his production level. So I ended up waiting a little bit more than a year for this, um, which was disappointing, but it was outside of his control, and it burned a lot of smaller manufacturers on how do we sort of get guitars overseas. Once he got past that and he understood and sort of the market understood what we were trying to do, the run started flowing and I got this guitar. I can't remember which one I was. This is uh, one of 250. It's a seven string. And the coolest thing about this is just pretty much the full design concept from start to bottom. It's a seven string. It's got the hammerhead shark inlay for a hollow body, and then it's got different sharks as the inlays, and it is just awesome. You just have it all laid out so well. It's an ebony fretboard with a quilted maple veneer, and it's the bloodbath model. There's also a model that is uh, natural and blue, sort of the beach view. This is the bloodbath. And this coloring is outstanding. This quilted maple is a really nice piece. And as they sprayed it, they got the sort of bloodbath look awesome. You can really, really struggle to get this look. And he nailed it. Construction-wise, we got a mahogany back. We've got a wide maple neck with ebony running through flame maple. It's a satin feel. The neck is incredibly smooth. And the playability on a seven string with fan frets is awesome. I had no idea how easy this guitar was going to play, but I'm really, really happy with it. The volute on the neck is awesome. It doesn't interfere with playability. And then we've got some uh, Ormsby locking tuners. And 
A seven string guitar is pretty cool. I am definitely not worthy to play this for you guys, but I will definitely give you some riffs. But the coolest thing about Perry is just watching how he kept going and, and as he progressed, he picked up more artists and more artists and that following became sort of rabid and he built his business off of that, which was really cool to see going from sort of a guy building in his basement to you know, having a niche and then building off that niche and now he sort of dominates that market, which is really, really cool to see. And so I had to get one of these from myself and I love it. It is very comfortable. The neck is thin, but solid for a seven string. And having a seven string is kind of cool. Uh, I don't degent or degent, whatever, whatever it's called. That's not my style. I am definitely a blues ripper to some degree, not that much. Uh, the pickup configuration is not my favorite. I do like a humbucker in the neck and a single coil at the bridge. That's my personal preference. That's why some of the runs you see that I make have that. Uh, the knob has got a coil tap for the humbucker, got a three-way switch, and then the volume. And it is awesome. I've got my blue guitar amp 100 watts on the floor here. And uh, I'm recording through a, a Yeti mic and my Black Star combo. And so we'll, we're not plugged in, but we'll just give you guys some riffs. I'm at full distortion on the classic, and we'll just let you kind of hear it a little bit. <laughs> So you can hear when you're playing that seven string, you really get that oomph out of it. And it's it's cool, it's nice to have. Gotta learn how to play something with it uh, other than my standard blues licks. The fret work coming off of this is impeccable. He's got an interesting process and he sort of details that in the form as the guitars sort of come in and come out. He's got I think 11 different runs now and all are sort of a different style. What he essentially does is he builds a custom guitar and then he'll spec it out and do a run off of that. So you sort of have two options uh, with him. You can go out and get a custom guitar or you can uh, get a run. And I decided to go with the run. He gets the sort of standard specs he wants to run, standard designs, gets them over to the factory. They build the guitars, they ship them then back to Australia. They do the QC there and then ship them out. So he's touched still all of the guitars, which is awesome. It's not like they're going out. He also has then picked up dealers as well for these. So the dealers then get the first sort of version of each run, which is pretty cool. And it is really sort of a sweet setup. I'm really happy for Perry to sort of make it. And, you know, you can find on YouTube him on Shark Tank Australia at one point trying to get this business going. And it's just a really fun story. It's a really cool story. Perry's a great guy. Give you some more licks here. I am in the bridge position. Let's go up to the neck. back to the bridge but we'll coil tap it We'll switch the amp to the modern setting and see if I can get you some crunch. Not going to guarantee anything out of it.
All right, enough of my terrible playing. So go on to Perry's site, check him out. If you go on Project Guitar, I think it's Randy Rhodes 56 was his old handle. You can sort of see how he started and got going. It's it's pretty fun, Project Guitar. Uh, there's a couple of us out there that were on the forum, you know, 12, 15 years ago. And now we have our own sort of little business. There's a guy running a CNC shop. There's me sort of doing a YouTube channel that's confused. At this point, you know, obviously Perry has got his own business and is running, but just wanted to do a video for Perry, a shout out. I'll be doing a couple of these builder profiles. We'll also be doing some interviews with builders as well. It was tough to get Perry on the phone to do this because we are different time zones and I've got kids, he's got kids, and sitting down for a half hour to do this sometimes is a little bit difficult. But just wanted to give you guys sort of my two cents on a guy who's made it. You can see how much hard work and effort he's put into his business. And it's really showed. This is a unbelievably awesome guitar. So check out Ormsby Guitars, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.